gentlemen and ladies. Whoa, whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll choose you up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's Stacy Lattersall. Well, that's to demonstrate, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I, I, I'm going on a Stacy Lattersall journey. What you guys need to understand is most music, there, there are only a certain amount of melodies in the world. That's why so much music that you listen to sound alike. Because there is not an infinite amount of melodies or beats out there. So when somebody says they've created something new, that's a lie. It's all plagiarism. Sorry, it's just the way it is. All right, hey, go into the research. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a gentleman. His name is Dave Jose. Jose! Anyway, Dave Jose. Let's uh, show you Dave Jose. I think I have Dave Jose here. That's Dave. He's on Rumble. He's Dave Cares For You. That's, that's his channel. Dave Cares For You. All one word. You can Google it. You'll be able to get to his site. Okay? Dave, let's just say a lot of the stuff he says, I'm in total concurrence with. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave and his cohorts created a document. This document uses the United States Supreme Court. This is Judge Gurich, or Gitzerich, or Mitzerich, or Rush Rush. Anyway, and <laughs> anywho, Gurich. Uh, this I don't know how to pronounce the man's name. He's not he's not an enemy. I I I wasn't sure of him at first. But I'm a lot more impressed with him. And, ladies and gentlemen, there are the judges who were participating, who were asking questions. I give them some credit because they actually sound like judges now. They haven't been sounding like judges for a while. They've been sounding like uh, spokespieces and lobbyists. But... They've actually been sounding like judges. So here's the thing. This is what y'all need to pay attention to. Mr. Fletcher, this is the attorney he's talking to that represents the SEC. With respect to your argument that Congress can move something from the courts into an agency, and the Seventh Amendment doesn't speak to that because it's not a suit. I think Noel Webster described the suit as any action or process for the recovery of a right or a claim before any tribunal, which would seem to be a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, if you look up the definition for suit, it'll bring up the definition for a lawsuit. The Seventh Amendment doesn't speak to a lawsuit. It only speaks to a suit. A suit is a controversy. Now, remember, the Seventh Amendment is only for controversy. That's where the Supreme Court and all the other courts get their jurisdiction, is that there has to be a controversy. So that's what the judge is saying says that's a pretty good contemporaneous definition. Then, and then, Justice Burnham, in whatever this case is, uh, Grand Financiera, I think addressed your argument pretty squarely when he said Congress cannot eliminate a party's Seventh Amendment right to a jury trial, no, a trial by jury, merely by relabeling, see what I mean? How they relabel it? From a jury trial to a trial by jury, from a trial by jury to a jury trial. Uh-uh, and you don't get rid of a rights because somebody relabel it. <laughs> a cause of action and place a jurisdiction in an administrative agency or any other agency. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the Wild Wild West. Now, if y'all don't remember the Wild Wild West with Drew Hill and Kumo D., and LL Cool J, then something wrong, y'all. Something, something, something wrong with y'all. Okay. Look, he says, they say that Will Smith never cursed in his rap. I'm sorry, B-I-T-C-H is a curse word. Sorry, I don't care where you come from. I don't care if they made it mainstream. It's still a curse word. That's why it wasn't allowed on TV until it was said by John Collins, I think it was, in Dynasty. For the very first time, it was used on network television. Prior to that, it was held as a curse word. So just because the 
industry says, oh, no, it's not a curse word anymore, doesn't change the facts. All right, now let's get back to this. You all need to start bringing this argument. Now, Mr. Jose is not bringing this up to your attention. I'm bringing it up to your attention based on the words of the Supreme Court. Now, here's what you guys need to understand. Just because the Supreme Court says something on the record doesn't make it law. However, do you hear what he said? Now, pay attention. Justice Brennan, 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 in Grand Financiera, I think addressed your argument pretty squarely when he said, pay attention, ladies and gentlemen, in oral arguments, when he said, okay, so if the Supreme Court justices get to refer back to what their previous justices have said, hey, hey, hey. So can you. Okay. Pay attention. Now I got somebody. I got somebody who's getting on my nerves because I've already tried calling them and I'm going to finish this video. Now I need you guys to pay attention so that you understand exactly what he's highlighting here. And there is not enough to render it no longer a suit for the purpose of the Seventh Amendment, right? Now, pay attention. You don't just take away somebody's right because you just created a new word. You created a statute. Statutes do not supersede the Constitution, no matter what the Supreme Court has said. Supreme Court said, well, if Congress enacts a statute, the legislature enacts a statute that's close to the constitutional amendment and provides similar protections, then the statute prevails. What the? You ignorant mother. I'm sorry. So y'all got to understand. They don't get to take away your rights by rewording something and creating a duplicate, something prima facie. Y'all need to start challenging this stuff. Now, he's using this so that he can get into a constitutional court. Now, they on this website, I'm going to put the link. Y'all going to get the link. I'm going to take the link. I'm going to shorten it up. Hold on now. Copy. We're going to shorten that up because that might be too long. So we're going we gonna to take care of that in a minute. You're going to put your full name. See, I already did the E.I., so I put my name, and then you're going to hit submit, and then it's going to ask you to verify you human. Put your email. It's going to verify that you're human. Once you verify that you're human, you're going to hit submit, and they go, hold on now. They're going to send it to the Supreme Court and the United States Congress on your behalf. Okay? It's more than 501 because I just did it. Okay? But pay attention. His assertion is that this has been working for quite a few people. And what I say is most of the information I agree with, I, I amended the document, okay? Not, not his, but I amended mine. And so I'm just letting y'all know. Now, we're going to go to Tiny. Watch this, Tiny. Oh, wait, I think Tiny is over here. Let's see. Yeah, I think Tiny is over here. I put Tiny over here. Let's see. Where you at, Tiny? There you go, URL. Okay, so this is what we do. We're going to do this right here. Refresh, because I need to get rid of that one. It's tinyurl.com, tinyurl.com. In this particular video, pay attention. In this particular video, the link will be in the description. That's what y'all need to know. Okay? Now, y'all tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me what you need. Tell me it ain't good enough for you, babe. Tell me. Tell me. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Desi. And if you ain't never met a Joe Desi, then you don't know nothing about music. Joe Desi. Ladies and gentlemen, you see this right here? That's my tiny link. That will be in the description so that you can get to that document. All right. And it's not my document, y'all. That belongs to Mr. Dave Jose and his peoples. All right? So y'all thank him. Go to his channel. Y'all thank him. All right? Not thank me because I can't take credit for somebody else's work. That, that ain't me. That's them other folk. All right? I give him some credit because, like I said, even with child support, he's actually documented and he's done pretty good with child support. So y'all pay attention. I got to go. All right? Tell me. What you need? Tell me it ain't good.
good enough for you, babe. Gotta go.